All right, hello everyone. Khalif here. Assalamualaikum. Hi Yasi. Hi, hi Tarani. Hi Heng from Freshest Mart. My sound okay lah. I think I'm gonna put my mic closer to me so yes. that it gets better. Okay. Uh, so this is recorded on uh, Zoom, and also this is streaming live on uh, LinkedIn. So every week we put on LinkedIn, so our LinkedIn buddies can also enjoy and learn a little bit. Um, jom kita kena kenal sikit uh, before we get started. Uh, quick intro, my name is Khalif, founder and CEO. We're going to have people coming in and out. Um, hari ni, I'm going to have it be more casual lah kan Silma? Casual lah a little bit. So Silma is our one of our co-founders and also our growth specialist. And then we have Tarani. Tarani is in our customer success department. Hi, Tarani. Tarani is at home. Hello. Not at home. You're actually way, way in Philippines, right? You're Malaysian, yeah. lah, Malaysian, but in the Philippines, living there. All right. She's also learning how to become a fighter pilot, not a fighter pilot, <laughs> commercial pilot. <laughs> And uh, we have Derek, our, um, also another one of our co-founders. He is uh, also our head of tech. So you can put some input uh, a little bit, Derek, uh, today on uh, all the tech things. Yes? Uh, no, no worries. I'm just like share whatever I know. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Um, and so let's dengar dengar sikit. We have Raya, Heng, and Yase. Let's take maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, kena kena sikit. Uh, then we can get started. Yase. Thank you for turning on your video. You can see, are you at home or at office? Uh, is it? Uh, your, your mic is muted. I think tak dengar. Let's try it again. Ah, uh -uh, tak dengar lah. Sayangnya. Sayang tak dengar. It's okay. Uh, while, while you're fixing that, you say, best sikit lah, then we can have a little chat, kan? Dengar um, tak? Yes, perfect. Sekarang dah dengar. Cantik. Okay. okay. Dekat, dekat rumah? Dekat rumah. Okay. So, uh, tell me a little bit about your business. Apa yang buat dan sebagainya. Oh, okay. Boleh cakap lagi, Wei? Boleh? Um, boleh. Boleh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, saya Yasir daripada Kajang. Uh, so, saya sebagai tugas sebagai ni lah, marketing manager untuk uh, Mafirah Pustaka kalau aku pernah dengar Al Humaira. Oh, kau buat apa ah? Uh, kita jual uh, Quran dengan juga Islamic punya merchandise lah. Wow, awesome, awesome. Okay. Okay, so previously uh, kita banyak develop on agents lah, agents, stockies, apa semua dropship apa semua. Mm -hmm. So this time kita uh, untuk dua tiga bulan, bulan lepas lah we start untuk develop our own team lah team sales secara internal lah. Uh, so, kita find out yang macam agak agak susah juga untuk banyak nombor nak buat iklan ke WhatsApp apa semua kan. Uh, so, ada kawan, ada kawan lah dia tahu yang, eh, kau try. Dia pun team sales juga. Customer sembangan dia, dia kata dia ha. uh, cuba pakai tu lah, yes hello kan. Alright. Siapa nombor kawan ni? I nak thank you dia betul-betul. Oh, dia bukanlah owner, dia macam staff je. Dia staff. Company mana? Uh, company mana eh? Ingat tak? Uh, company Faisal kot. Faisal dulu lah. Faisal dulu lah. Oh iya ke? You kenal Silma? Direct kenal. Alright. Ah, tapi dia bukan owner lah. Dia staff dalam team tu lah. Uh, dalam. Derek selalu lah pergi tolong the team kan. So Derek kan tag. So bila-bila the team ada tag challenge ke? Ada nak tanya secret-secret how to automate kan semua pergi kat Derek. Jadi Derek kenal oh. lah semua. Ha. Tak end lah. So tak 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 tengok I sangat lah. <laughs> nice. Alright. So thank you to him. Ya say alright. Cool and what's up what's the one thing yang you nak uh, that, that that you want to get from today from this webinar kalau boleh. Apa you nak? Oh, uh, so kita nak grow untuk uh, staff yang ramai kan. Cuma bila saya go through pricing tu macam pricing monthly tu okey ha pricing yang pricing tu package tu okey um, mm -hmm. buat lah tapi cuma yang bahagian yang 20 sen per customer tu 
nak tanya tu lah aku ada ada boleh buat custom made ke kan sebab ah. kita lead kita banyak setiap bulan lah dalam puluh-puluh ribu lah kan wow uh. menarik menarik exciting Okay, Ken, I think we'll talk a little bit about that Macam mana nak handle berpuluh-puluh ribu leads Macam tu eh huh. Alright, so yeah, we have a few Yang uh, Ibn Sina also banyak-banyak Made for you pun banyak-banyak berpuluh-puluh ribu um, Okay, Ken, we'll touch a little bit on that On marketing So you buat marketing on WhatsApp And then terus buat customer service clo- Buat closing kat situ huh. and, then, and then customer service pun kat WhatsApp juga Betul Nice. Okay, Chun, we'll talk about that definitely. Let's listen a little bit to uh, Heng dengan iFresh tu. If you guys want to turn, turn on pun boleh. Kalau turn on macam ni pun boleh. Awesome. Hi, Heng. Hello. Hello. You want to speak in English? Uh, you want to cakap BM? Boleh pun boleh lah. Boleh lah. Senang sikit. Boleh pun boleh. No problem. Uh, I'm Heng. Uh, iFresh is marketing is Nian Bahad. Kita jual uh, seafood online. Hmm, yum. Yeah, jual okay. seafood online ada website sendiri. Mm-hmm. So ini hari untuk dengar um, macam mana yes hello ni boleh bantu saya lah. Okay. Pasal okay. dalam WhatsApp tu, many customer come in, tapi our customer service susah nak nak follow up. Faham? Nanti lupa, banyak lupa. Hah, ha, betul. Kita tahu selalu. Up, banyak sangat kadang reply reply nanti di, lupa apa yang uh, last customer tanya tu nanti mm-hmm. uh, banyak mistake buat lah saya ingat right hey your your team berapa orang ah yang buat uh, follow up semua yang follow up tiga tiga orang okay faham faham okay good ada apa tu leads tiga dalam orang dalam pakai satu pakai satu phone number pun susah juga ya yeah. uh. jadi sekarang semua pakai uh, phone sendiri ke macam mana Hmm, phone sendiri pun ada, phone company pun ada So total 4 phone, 5 phone dah Faham, we are going to fix that for you hari ni Settle that problem, okay? Yeah. Alright, we'll do that So I think kat sini ada another team member eh, Daripada iFresh juga So your team lah tu? Ya yeah. Okay, so, good, good out. That's fine, that's fine Oh Yasir, lupa nak tanya uh, Your team member yang buat follow up semua berapa orang? Yang buat follow up, <laughs> tiga Sampai Tiga, lah. uh, yes, okay, correct good. I tanya, tanya Yasir sebenarnya Oh. Yase, ah, tak ayah lupa tanya Yase tadi. Hei, ngai tahu tiga. Yase berapa uh, orang Yase? Yang your team follow up Yase? Uh, sekarang ada sepuluh, tapi lepas raya empat uh, puluh. Oi, quadruple, uh. ramai ya. Yes, okay. Uh, Sounds super cool. exciting. Alright, alright. Okay, so we'll, we'll cover that today and then watching us on. Uh, if you guys want to put a comment and then I'll uh, have Silma and Derek. Um, note me and then I will answer those questions, okay? So, I'm going to share my screen and then kadang-kadang I'm going to have Silma and Derek also jawab-jawab soalan and uh, tolong I sikit, right? In today punya session. So, I'm going to set it up. Yes, share my slides, present. Let's get started. Jom kita start. Present. Okay, ready, get set, go. So, I buka jacket because I think macam terlebih formal lah pula. And then, uh, I baru pindah rumah so the lighting is a little bit off. Nampak a little bit weird at the back but excuse me for it. Rumah baru, saya so cover dengan curtain tak nampak the mess. <laughs> um, but I'm thankful today the lighting is good, the sound is good, internet is good. And today we're going to talk about webinar, how to boost your sales using WhatsApp. Cara nak follow up, how to transform your team to become five star customer service team. Simply, tak payah nak headache sangat, right? So we've done that. Uh, we're going to talk about three steps how to get your team to reply fast, uh, faster. So there's these three simple things. Um, simple but not easy to do. But I think you can already get started hari ini, and that's what we're going to talk about today and how we can use it in Yes Hello, okay? Um, this thing is recorded, so you're going to get a recording of it. You can also re-watch it again. We're going to post it on Facebook and also, of course, uh, LinkedIn Live, right? My name is Kale, founder and CEO. So we at Yes Hello help modern SMEs like Yase, like Heng. Yase, what's the name of your uh, company again? Uh, Humera Trading. Humera Trading. Oh. Trading with uh, Islamic punya products. Very awesome. Uh, so we help modern SME streamline WhatsApp customer service. So in Malaysia, Southeast Asia, we all love WhatsApp. 
Jadi it becomes a little bit of a challenge when your team reaches 10, sometimes now going to 40, right? Similar to uh, one of our clients, I'm going to show you after this. Nama dia is, um, I'll show you after this, surprise, okay? So what we're going to cover today, how to select the right tools for different stages of your company and what you guys do. How to motivate your team to reply faster. Sometimes other tools, other semua sebagainya, tapi is motivation. And how to do that using tools. Right? And how to collaborate as a team using WhatsApp. Um, collaboration is another challenge. So we are very far away. Kadang-kadang we are home. Kadang-kadang we are at the office. But how to do it macam kita gang-gang. Right? So for Yase and Heng and everyone on um, watching now, yeah, kalau you stay until the end, I think you will enjoy this. The 27 proven scripts yang kita orang guna. Uh, we have 100 plus scripts for customer service. Um, 27 of it, the best one we're going to give to you. Okay, to use in your business, including sales, sales support, payment, pricing, physical, digital product delivery, refund, webinar, expert question and answer, general support. Right, so have that at the end. Okay. So, yes, quick intro. My name is Khalif. I'm the husband of uh, Nini, father of two, been an entrepreneur since uh, my mid-20s, so 15 years already as an entrepreneur, built a few businesses. I also do business coaching dengan, uh, buat training juga, buat training MDEC, SME Corp, Magic, and also corporate trainings. Currently founder and CEO dekat Yes Hello, all right? So some of the uh, clients kita orang kat Yes Hello have helped. Um, I think kalau untuk Hang Fresh Mart tu, um, we have a few marts as well. Do you guys remember any marts, Derek and Silma? We got a few, right? The, uh, yeah. Um, the Q, Q Food. Q Food, yeah, e Petani. So a few yeah. marts. And okay. then um, we have, I think, kalau similar to Yase. I think more of the Islamic punya market, kita ada Ibn Sina Wellness. Um, they are more wellness, but uh, more of the Muslim punya side. And then, kalau products in itself, Pops Malaya ada, kita ada uh, Policy Street, who does insurance, but team dia from 10 to also around 40, right? Quite big. All right, so, and we are in 19 countries. Okay, a little, little story about Policy Street. So, maybe this will relate to you guys. So, Policy Street for one of our clients, they are Malaysian punya insurance company. When they, they orang, uh, came to us in April of 2021, they had 10 people what customer service, follow-up, uh, dan sales and sebagainya. Right? And then, uh, the challenge was, they orang guna all personal punya phone. So, Personal phone, phone, okay. What sale, okay. But challenge dia is, after a while, the orang punya manager tak tahu whether everyone is doing the ikut proses ke tidak. That's number satu, right? And then number two is, they keep on missing. Alamak, terlupa lah nak follow up. Terlupa lah ini, right? And then, uh, confuse who is managing who. So but when they came to us, kita orang streamline. So now they use one number. And then even though kalau team member dia orang uh, leave the company pun tak apa because they don't take away all that conversation semua in one place. And in September 2021, they up dia orang punya team member to 33 people and they raised 25 million ringgit in series A punya funding. Um, and I think it helped because all the departments that they wanted to uh, well to to get funding, all departments need to be able to scale. Kan? Need to be able to grow. But only the customer service punya department, dia orang tak boleh grow. Sebab tak ada process, tak ada tools. So we help them do that, right? So we'll tell you more a little bit about how to do this, how they did it. Did it. So apa masalahnya? What's the problem sebenarnya? Okay. Salah dia ni ialah ini. Three levels of masalah of frustrated customers. So they are the customer, they are the employee challenge, and then they are the company challenges. So I'll go through one by one. Uh, up, apa yang yang your customers yang frustrated sangat ni? Number one, waiting too long. Wait too long to talk to a human to get a reply. Bila dapat reply tu, salah pula answer tu. And then, 
bila tersilap orang nak cakap, oh I have to pass to this person, pass to that person, alah kena explain sekali lagi. Very tiring macam tu kan. Kita tak suka. And then, kadang-kadang bila dah terlampau overwhelm your team tu, dia jadi macam root sikit. So, have to deal with root agents dia orang tak suka. And also, poorly train agents. Especially kalau new team members. So, ini yang customer frustrated hari-hari. And when customers frustrated, employees pun akan frustrated. So, bila employees frustrated, uh, why? Sebab kita nak dia orang kerja kuat-kuat. Tapi, reminder system tak ada. Assignment system nak pergi kat siapa, this one, tak ada. Unclear what is supposed to be done. Right? Ah, ini what am I supposed to do? Apa yang next process? Apa next step? Who to follow up? Tak tahu. Lepas tu, sebab tak ada proses, proses tu tukar-tukar hari-hari. Ever changing, changing. Jadi, orang pun confuse. Kan? Semua pun ad hoc. So, bila dah ad hoc, what we measure, KPI pun, metrics pun ad hoc juga. Tak tahu kita measure apa. So, they don't feel the win. Right? And then, they tak tahu how where to find answers. So, I tak tahu nak jawab macam mana. To ask a person, tak tahu. And then, nak cari dekat online, tak tahu. So, lagi frustrated. And then, cannot get support when they need. Have to work online alone in a silo. Kerja seorang-seorang tak best. Uh, training, kurang baik. So, they feel stuck and demotivated. And they want tak tahu whether they're doing well or not. So, that's those are the employees. Right? And for the small business pula, it's a frustration bila those employees tu dah 2-3 bulan they leave 2-3 bulan they leave we don't want that right and then because they are using personal phone dia orang akan ambil phone tu the, of course it's their phone and they leave all the data-data tak ada dah right and then customers only buy once and never again tak ada repeat how to always have to always find new customers very expensive have to make decisions based on gut feel so this is today when there's so much data kan bagus if we make decisions based on metrics instead of feeling this way you can grow new leaders kan and this one cannot be done when you don't have the metrics so this is a frustration for company high employee turnover slow to get employees to be trained and then to be productive lambat always playing catch up always tak habis kerja security for the data is not backed up and then no way to measure anything and this is the the frustration untuk businesses and this sebenarnya is frustration kita orang punya frustration yes hello when we were doing our thing so the staff in frustration is actually our staff punya actual frustration and our uh, clients juga right so this is uh, um, when we were doing this kita dok fikir kenapa we build this business kenapa kita build this um, solution it is to solve our own problems sebenarnya and then um, it trickled out to our team members our clients dan sebagainya so, the biggest fear is this. So, all those daily frustrations, apa yang kita tak nak is, we don't want to be known in the market to have terrible customer service. Itu yang paling tak nak sekali, for me. Right? I don't know whether this relates to you or not. Sebab bila reputation tu dah kena, dah kena chop, it sticks. Right? So, we don't want that. Another fear is, we don't want to be known in the market for not caring about our customers. Um, customers today are lagi educated so they want to work with um, companies yang care for them right and we don't want to have client complain but to be viral right this one is so often and they cancel us we don't want that we don't want to have no money because of that daily financial struggle tak nak uh, we fear we don't want to get fired if you're working uh, for the company we don't want our clients to get fed up and leave for our competitors it's very sad very sad we don't want to uh, you know, uh, problems. We don't want the problems to affect our family and we don't want our company to go bankrupt. So that's the ultimate fear. Tapi day to day, kita ada these frustrations, right? So, here is the opportunity. Sebab a lot of companies are also in the same position sekarang. Bukan, not just you guys, right? So in your industry, other companies, your competitors are going through the same challenge and they don't know what to do. Okay, so you have the opportunity opportunity right now. If you if you get started faster, then you will reach to a level where you can already scale and they are baru just not start, right? And that's the, your opportunity to uh, get ahead from them. Okay, so what do customers want? Sebenarnya, simple. So we know what is their fear. 
what is the frustration. Let's go quickly up in your own, they, they want and then see whether we can give it to them. Okay. For customers, they want predictable customer service. Predictable. Senang dia tahu hari ni buka pukul berapa. Jawab. Boleh predict. Solve their issues fast. They want to get info yang betul. They want to support yang personalized. They want the agent to follow up bila dia orang janji. Janji that, that follow up pukul tiga, follow up pukul tiga. That's, that's all. Very simple that they want, right? So customers want to get info whenever they want. So self-service. You need to be able to have a self-service today. And to speak to a human when they need. Okay? What employees want. Employees plus your team members. Your team members, they want a simple to follow best practice. Step by step, simple to follow. Your employees want to know that they do, they are doing the job well. They want to not work alone. They don't want to be lonely. They want not to be able to find the correct answers fast. Kalau tak tahu soalan tu, nak jawapan nak cari ke mana, they want to know how to find the answers easy. Right? Um, they want to have an easy way to route tickets to the right team member. Oh, only Derek boleh jawab. How to give it to Derek supaya dia boleh follow up. And then how for me to pantau and then tengok betul tak Derek follow up. Right? Simple. Simple things. Transparency. And then customers, they want customers to rave about how awesome customer service is. And they want the tools to remind them to follow up and do things. So employees punya what they want is very simple in customer service. And untuk the SME for the company itself or the owner, this is what the owners want, right? Predictable and great customer service. They want raving fans and repeat customers. Unlimited referrals. Uh, SMEs want training new staff to be simple, tak payah nak susah-susah. Uh, nak buat decisions, to, uh, to make it easy to make decisions. We want to protect customer data and organize all the back-end punya technical things. And we want to have decisions made based on data, not feelings. All right? So that managers and supervisors can make decisions, but can't just the boss himself. All right? So that's what SMEs want day to day. So before we get into the next one, right? So let's just do a quick uh, 10 seconds. What strikes you so far about what we've talked about here, right? Let's uh, just share quickly. You don't have to turn um, you know, it to a long conversation just from the top of your mind one or two things Derek um what what strikes you so far yeah I mean uh yeah definitely uh it's all the frustrations based on our actual expect experience so that's why when uh Khalif you mentioned about these are all these frustrations that we can like uh yeah we can mention tons of it is because it's really coming from our actual actual experience yeah yeah, we just take notes and all those things, right? Yeah, yeah. Say, um, just from you, uh, from the top of your mind, apa apa yang strikes you so far? Oh, Heng. Uh, bagus lah. Apa yang you cuba sampaikan faham lah. Ah, uh, apa yang kita nak capai kan? Apa yang kita gugatan kita apa semua? Okay, ada apa yang 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 saya nampak ah itulah paling kita ramai problem. Ada itulah yang kita ramai nak ada tak apa apa one or two things. Ada ada tadi uh, apa dah tadi tu ada lah dua tiga tadi hmm. banyak ayat kita orang list kat situ memang uh. asyik asyik kita tambah aja alright thanks thanks saya bapa you tadi ni any one or two things that strikes you from the beginning section just now like what Derek said the first trust frustration that uh, we have <laughs> business yep. owners had. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff yeah it's a lot of stuff because it's all our clients being frustrations all right thank you guys cool so ultimately sebenarnya apa yang kita nak what we want is we want hands off customer support hands off so imagine kalau kita boleh letak our team dekat situ and then hands off dia orang akan jalan sendiri right we want raving fans for life uh, how to do that simple repeatable system will implement in any business so imagine that you can implement in this business tengok system ni senang and then you can go into another business and implement the same process. So that means your customer service using WhatsApp becomes scalable. Ketiga orang boleh, 10 orang boleh, 40 orang boleh, 100 orang boleh, right? You want to have a company that I'm proud of. Adored by customers, be a successful business person. Kalau you kerja, you nak get a promotion and obviously make more money. Okay, that's ultimate apa yang kita nak. 
Okay. All right. So let's get into this. So if that's what we want. Those are the challenges. The one concept that I want you guys to know before we get into the details of it is the 80-20 rule. This is called the Pareto principle. What is it, Tarani? What's it called? The Pareto principle. That's right. Our oh, first time you dengar, you dah tahu, ingat dah. Huh? Tarani is new with us. She's been, this is our, her first week with us, helping uh, Alta with customer success. Saja je mana kacau her, right? All right, so the 80-20 rule is called the Pareto Principle. This rule, let me tell you a quick story. Yeah? In 2020, bila lockdown happened, this is me in shorts <laughs> dengan jacket. Actually, if you guys want to know, I pakai jacket dari t-shirt. If I stand up, I'm also in shorts now. <laughs> Dekat rumah like this lah. But shh, don't tell anyone, okay? All right. So in the gambar-gambar video semua, you see me with all jacket. Ah, uh, it's just at the top je, kat bawah. It's like like this lah. It's just the, the the look. So this is the first few um uh Zoom punya meeting during the first lockdown. Before that, we were running um uh, Chabot Malaysia, and we were doing big projects untuk uh, untuk government um SME. So we do projects that are, you know, five figure above. So we custom chatbots. And then when lockdown happened, semua orang tak nak, uh, tak nak spend so much, not safe. So all our clients cakap stop. No new clients not spend. So if you guys remember during the first lockdown too, macam panic betul semua. And it was tough sebab after a few months, uh, masa tu Derek ada, Alta ada, I had to let them go. I said, guys, uh, tak ada income langsung, right? And um, even though we had a few clients and we were helping SMEs, tapi semua tengah tough. So we had to, before we go, we had to sit down and say, hey, how, what to do now, right? I want to spend, tapi they still have a challenge, have to work from home. And that's when we sat down and we thought about, okay lah, if we don't sell it like 10,000, 20,000, how about those companies yang they want to get online, they want to manage WhatsApp, tapi at a monthly sikit-sikit, can we do that? And that was the idea, the birth of Yes Hello. How can we do a software that smaller businesses like how we were struggling at that time, don't have to spend so much, but still have this solution, right? Um, and when we started it, we talked about okay, well, what feature feature yang we cannot, we cannot have it all. So we can only choose a few. So we only chose those things yang paling the biggest problems. The the 20% of all the entire things that we can do, only 20% je, yang paling priority. Right? And, um, and that's the mindset of uh, Yes Hello. In our day-to-day, -day, cara kita jalankan our business, the things that we can do, tak perfect, but that 20% that creates the 80% results. Um, and also in our products, also in our programs. Because we know small business tak ada banyak unlimited funds. Tak ada banyak unlimited team members. So kita punya resources sikit. We can only do this much. But what to do? So this concept of 80-20 ni is very powerful because we want to know what is that 20% that will create your 80% results. Right? That's the biggest learning for me during that time. And then when we started it, uh, after like six months, I was working alone. Um, uh, month number two, I invited Alta Wale. And then, um, you know, we got the whole team back after a few months. So the 80-20 rule, this is, this is the, the thing that I, I think is most important that I think for today, uh, tema of today is, what is that 20% of your effort that gives 80% of your results? We think that I thought dulu-dulu, perfectionist kan? I thought that kalau I want 100% result, that I can put 20% input, dapat 20% output. Right? So, kalau I nak 100%, I can letak lagi 20, then dapat 20. Then letak lagi 20, dapat 20. This is what we think. Yang kita rasa itulah how it's supposed to be. Tapi sebenarnya, this rule, this rule is everywhere. If you want to calculate, you can calculate it after this. Okay, This is very powerful. Reality is this. There is this 20% of the things that you all bought. 20%. That is actually creating that 80% of your output. 
right? And then that that balance twenty percent tu, kalau nak jadi perfect, is that all that other eighty percent of your effort. So meaning, kalau kita not enough resources, kalau kita a small business, we want to not have to waste time on all this other eighty percent, which gives very tiny result, but focus mainly on this twenty percent, right? How does this look like sebenarnya? Here's an example, lah. Eh? Example. 20% of customers bring 80% of revenue. Think about that. Your 20% of your customers actually bring 80% of your revenue. So focus on that 20%. 80% of your work is completed by 20% of your team. Who is that 20% of your team that is doing the 80% of your work? Right? 80% of complaints come from 20% of customers. So if you're getting a lot of complaints, figure out who and where and fire those 20% customers, then you don't have much of your complaints anymore. This works. 20% of marketing efforts gives 80% of your results and 20% of content drive 80% of traffic. So if this is it, then hari ni, what we're going to cover is what is that 20% of your customer service, of your follow-up, customer support, pre-sales that drives that 80% of your revenue and results. So that's what we're going to cover. And that is that is what um, got us started cepat. And that's how we help kita orang punya clients untuk streamline within 30 days. Very, very fast. Okay, I'm going to show you how and what are those things. And I think it's going to help you terus boleh implement hari ini. So I'm going to cover three reasons why you you're losing your customers. Okay, I think before that, let's talk about this a little bit. Uh, Derek Sima, what do you guys think of the 80-20 rule? Definitely it works. And definitely that's how it is. Because the first time that you shared it, I didn't believe you. <laughs> so I went ahead and do my own thing. You know, like questioner again. And then I was like, huh. So all this while, I thought when I put 80%, then 80% lah dapat. 100%, 100%. Rupanya, I only need to put 20%, then 80% is the result. So definitely, kan? yeah. Kan, we are, we are like really, really, really good at those things, yang 20% tu, we're so good at it. And then, bila kita buat the 20%, results come super senang je, kan? Um, but we struggle with all the other things. And then we think that we have to struggle on the things that we're not good. Actually, no. And that 20% you tell buat to buat yang itu, right? And that's what we want to share today. Why is that 20%? Derek, what about you? How, how does this apply to you? Uh, yeah, I'm a truly believer for this because either you're working at 20% or 80%, it does show you whether you really work hard or work smart. Yeah. This is, so, what, yeah. This is what work hard or work smart means. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's why yeah. you see still mind Derek, Mukut. Uh, senyum je, chill je sebab don't work so hard dari don't work so hard Silma uh, we figure out what's at 20% kan last time these two always like very like workaholic always want to work 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 only, right so I don't know whether I'm a good influence or not but now a little bit chill what's at 20% right do what you're good at superpowers superpowers okay so let's get into the three reasons why you are losing customers and how to fix it okay so I'm going to share with you guys uh, can I make screenshot mulai? The triangle model. The triangle model is let's uh, just close this. Boom. Whoopsie. Woo, this is a big one. Um, we're not gonna go to do that. So let's go to my triangle model. There you go. Okay. Apa yang kita nak? Here is the question. Kita nak fast customer service. Yes or yes? <laughs> yes. So we want fast customer service. Tapi ada problem. What is the problem? Problem is three main problems. Why a lot of companies don't have fast customer service. Number one, wrong tools. That means guna tools yang salah atau guna tools yang betul tapi pada masa yang salah. Okay, so I'm going to go through that. Number two problem ni ialah Slow reply. So even though we we uh, as the reader give the right tools, tapi the team tu tak guna dengan uh, dengan betul <laughs> ataupun no urgency atau no motivation to reply fast. 
right? So how to solve that? Number three, even though we get them to, okay, reply fast, get them motivated. But we are humans. Jadi kadang-kadang, they want tak tahu jawapan, kerana they want tak tahu nak buat, but they want to find support, they tak tahu kat mana. Right? So teamwork is hard. Team collaboration is hard. So how do we fix this? Because if we fix these three things, they have the right tools at the right time, they are motivated to do it fast, and then if they don't know the answer, they can find the answer and work as a team. This is automatically become fast. And we have found a solution how to do it. Right? This is through trial and error to helping thousands of customer service professionals who come to us week in, week out, and we tell them same thing again and again. And we put it into this triangle model. So what we want is we want, instead of the wrong tools, we want the right tools, a dedicated customer service platform that is numb for where you are as a small business so that you can grow better. And how do we do that? We help with the right tools for you to pick the right channels, right? Banyak-banyak channels out there, WhatsApp, email, what are the right channels for you? So we, we help you pick that those channels. WhatsApp is of course the main one. And then put it into a team inbox. How to put it into a team inbox supaya the team log into one place saja. And then all those channels yang you pilih tu, WhatsApp, email or whatever, messenger, all in one place, and they'll know what to do. And then create core value specifically untuk your customer service team, customer support team, pre-sales team, so that they can manage their self, themselves. Jadi, us as the leader, tak payah nak pantau day to day, they know how to run their own day. So we only do coaching, right? So with this thing, then the right tools is set up. Jadi, when they come in, they can already work, right? All the things are there. That's how we do that. And once we have that, how do we solve urgency? How do we get them to reply fast? Here's are the three ways, right? So we want them to reply fast. Number one, we play a daily game called Inbox Zero. So if you're, you don't have to have a tool for this. But it's, it makes it so much easier kalau you ada the right software or tool so that the team can win every day. Play an inbox zero game. So if there are inbox yang assigned to them is zero, win. Are you guys playing an inbox zero game or not? Think about it, right? Because if you win every day, then your team knows what they're supposed to do every day. They can celebrate every day. They feel good every day. Then this becomes the the catalyst for good vibes. Uh, good vibes is what close sales. Good vibes is what bring new customers in. Kan? So play a daily game. Number two is monitoring. So kalau your team is using their own personal WhatsApp, how are we supposed to see what's happening? You cannot monitor, you cannot support, you cannot, you cannot, um, you know, you when you work better when you know that you are accountable. Betul tak? So when your team is there or when your uh, supervisor is around and watching, you become, just naturally, you want to give your best. But when people are working online, tak nampak. Especially if you're using your own phone, tak nampak. So we make it so that it is transparent where everybody can see what everybody else is doing. And when you know your team is there and can see, you want to not, not um, let them down. So you want to do your best. right? So that's number two. How to monitor. And we teach how to do reporting. So at the end of the week, when your team is already winning day to day, when they are on their own, you know, um, uh, doing things fast, and then other team members can uh, see and learn from each other, how to report week to week on their achievements. Right? So imagine. Wow, menang lagi. This week menang lagi. This week menang lagi. So every month you menang. Every week you menang. Every day you menang. And you share. Right? So how to do reporting? Daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. So we have all the templates. We have all the systems. And put all these three things together. Inbox zero, monitoring, reporting. Naturally, they will reply fast. Naturally. Tell her, they menang semangat. And then they know people are watching. And then they know at the end of the week, of the month, semua all the yang they're buat tu are being reported, show to the boss. They love it. 
right? So this will make it super easy to reply fast with urgency. So that's solved. So once they already do that, once in a while, they don't not get support, they want to find information. And when they cannot, that's when it becomes slow. Kan? So we need to make it simple and easy untuk the orang kerja dalam kumpulan, work together, collaborate and get support. And also give support and do coaching. Okay, live. So how to do that? So once teamwork is created, we help teams create uh, apa, uh, good teamwork is we show them how to create shortcuts. Sebab kalau one person yang terror buat copywriting, buat closing or buat support and they have the script, then they can create a shortcut and share it with the whole team. So this sharing of knowledge makes it super fast and super easy for your team to become very productive, very fast. So we it's already built in uh, into a platform, our platform. But if you are not using our platform, we also have ways for you to do it manually, right? So all these things need, you don't need a platform, but if you have it, it's easy. But if you do it, just do it, then it becomes, uh, uh, you know, your fast customer service, uh, your customer service will become faster when they reply, right? So one is shortcuts. Number two is, so all those shortcuts. So every day you decorate shortcuts. Where are you going to put it? So we're going to put it in one place called the knowledge base. Jadi now, that knowledge base bukan your team je boleh dapat. Bukan your new team members yang baru masuk nak training aja over there. But your clients, uh, customers pun can go to the knowledge base and find answers on their own, right? This will kurangkan your daily punya Q&A dengan your clients, 30, 40%. So your team tiba-tiba have so much extra time to serve those yang betul-betul perlukan one-on-one, -on -one, right? So that's knowledge base, very, very important. So we teach you how to do that. And then we teach you more advanced collaboration tools, collaboration ways, how to delegate, how to, um, you know, will you delegate? Imagine kalau you bagi tahu sekali aja, dia orang dah tahu dah. Tapi kalau you buat tak betul, then dia tanya balik, eh, macam lah? And then you jawab lagi, and then lah? Then because four or five times, what a waste, right? If you have like a team of 40, very headache. So you want to be able to do it one way, at uh, one time. So we teach you all this. So if all these three things is done, you will have fast customer service. This is what Yes Hello is about. So we get you here by solving these three biggest challenges. All right, so let's just uh, stop here for a second. What strikes you here about the triangle model? Uh, yeah, anyone? Um, yeah, stay if you want to jump in. Apa yang you nampak kat sini yang strikes you that you think this will be most valuable to you? Uh, inbox zero tu best juga lah kalau ni kan, kalau kita buat game macam tu kan. Ah, memang ada hari tengok Silma ni lah paling champion import zero. <laughs> okay, uh, import zero is one. Uh, apa apa lagi yang you nampak? That's the the main one. Ah, huh? we can go deeper into that later. Sure. Uh, Heng, if you're there, you can share. No problem. If you want to. The monitor one. Oh, monitoring. So, would you like to be able to see semua orang punya kerja hari hari? Yeah. Okay. Too so, much phone lah. Susah nak pantau juga. Tak yeah. Tahu, apa yang dia reply kita langsung tak tahu. Oh, kalau you dah bagi skrip kat dia orang pun tak tahu dia guna ke tak kan? Hmm, masa check balik ini salah itu salah. Pening betul. Kan? <laughs> betul. Okay, okay. Ah, so that means untuk you ah you perlukan monitor dengan shortcut. Jadi dia orang guna shortcut tu tak tukar, same sama aja kan? Hmm. Okay, boleh. We we'll go through that a little bit. Okay, Derek, uh, Silma, what strikes you so far here? What, when when we share about our, our triangle? Yeah, Silma. Great. Like Bursila, Inbox Zero. <laughs> yeah, Silma the champion Inbox Zero. Always cepat ya ada orang Zero. I mean Zero, but, right? But now Taradi is here, so Taradi can play Inbox Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Zero, Taradi, every day she goes up and she does the delegation. She delegate, 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 right? So brilliant. Derek? Yeah, I mean, um, don't treat it as a job for your like customer service treat it as a game then yeah it will be it looks much more easier and achievable yes uh, very achievable so let's let's go into it a little bit right let's i uh, tunjuk you in box zero sikit and i'll show you shortcut sikit and i'll show you monitoring sikit i cannot go through all 
but let me touch on it so that Heng dengan Yasir boleh nampak, okay? So I'm just going to go and click on our platform. Um, so this is the Yes Hello platform. Let's go to our dashboard so that you can see what um, we all see in the morning. So bila masuk in the morning, um, I boleh tengok my team member masuk buat apa, hari ni online since 8.53, kita orang start kerja pukul 9.30. So, Alta is already in very early. Tara ni online since 10. But I think she logged in early and then came back in, right? So, Silma 10.30. So, you can see who came in and out, right? Now, on the left side here, berapa open communication from which channel, ada from Messenger, ada from WhatsApp, dan sebagainya. Okay. So, where we want to go the most, the most important is dekat messages. So, pergi dekat messages. And hari-hari, where I want to see is here, right? So, so, I nak you tengok kat sini je. This this column kat sini, right? This column and this column here is the messages itself. So, I'm going to go into all messages kat atas. Tekan situ, all. So, from all messages, akan buka semua messages. Let's go all open. Alright. So, I boleh nampak messages hari ni ada from Gmail. Ada from Messenger, ada from WhatsApp. And setiap message ni yang masuk, kita tahu siapa nama nama orang tu. And kita tahu juga team member yang mana satu yang tengah handle. Right? So I can see Silma is talking to Fong Jan. Alta is talking to Shaf. Silma is talking to Jan. So you can see all the way down, right? Ah uh, Macam tu. Semua ada orang. Derek is talking to Li Wei. Eh, Wei Li. Eh. So far, you will get an overview of oh, uh, you know who is doing with who. Okay, that's number one. Number two, because in the morning you we have uh, Tarani to come in and then tengok. Okay, um, ada satu unassigned, right? Contohnya yang ketika ni unassigned, belum assigned lagi. So tekan ke unassigned. Is one person. So I tekan is unassigned. Contohnya lah, tekan unassign ni is from someone. Okay, let's tekan. Okay. So, obviously this is a notification punya email. But contoh lah, let's say this email is for Khalif. Right? Uh, it's important email. So, I boleh baca. And then I boleh tengok history. This person hantar email, apa dia hantar in the, in the past. Kalau dia hantar WhatsApp pun, I boleh tengok. Oh, semua WhatsApp. So, every channel semua in one place untuk one contact. Senang nampak history. Okay. And then, uh, because I am assigning to someone, I will assign to, let's say this person is, I assign to, to me, to myself. Okay, so you tengok, eh, bila I tekan assign to me, unassign ni, terus akan jadi kosong, and then CEO punya inbox akan naik jadi nombor dua. dua right, so I tekan assign to me. Lagi sikit sebab tengok buat stream sekarang. Eh. Right? So now the unassigned jadi kosong. So every contact yang masuk is already assigned dah kahwin to a team member. And then CEO punya inbox will become dua. So me as a CEO, I come in whenever I come in and then I just tengok my inbox how many has been assigned to me. And I pergi jawab lah. So oh I ada dua hari ni. So untuk yang ini, I pergi tengok apa yang perlu saya buat. On top of that, dia letak lagi nota dekat sini. A note. So, we are internally talking to each other. Hey, please do this and that about this email. Jadi tak ada confusion. Right? Then I say, okay, thank you very much. And then I, kalau nak komen balik, I boleh komen balik. Cakap dengan Alta. Right? I, I say here, at Alta. I tag, I tag dia. And then, I say, thank you for this okay or whatever it is right and this internal communication ni private orang lain tak nampak maksudnya client tak nampak so it doesn't matter kalau the message is email ke whatsapp ke this internal is very powerful right jadi sebelum i nak jawab i dah tahu dah how i'm supposed to do those things uh, and we teach you how to do this in a clear way right kalau i nak re reply balik to the email, I boleh pergi sini and I can choose from which channel I want, uh, which email I want to reply. And then bila done, I tekan kat sini, I can close the conversation 
at a closing note ataupun I can uh, pergi snooze to another time. So if I snooze pun, dia akan jadi uh, apa? It'll go out from my inbox. Or I can assign to another team member. Meaning dia akan go away from my inbox and masuk orang lain di inbox. At the end of the day, I need just to make sure my inbox kosong. Itu je. Kalau my inbox kosong, settle semua. Then I can go into other people punya inbox. Contohnya, I pergi masuk customer success punya inbox kat sini. And then I boleh support orang yang tengah struggling. Ha, ni, 23, technical ada 19. So I can go in and tolong Derek technical if there's anything that I can help. Right? So like that. And, and untuk Heng, you nak tengok uh, transparent kan? Ah, uh, This is how transparent it is. You boleh tengok, okay, customer success. Alta duk uh, cakap dengan Shaf. I tekan kat situ. I can see their entire conversation. So Shaf is from Volvo, right? From Bukit Bintang. I can see that they're talking about some technical things. They're setting up automation. Um, that they have specific campaigns they want to do. So, oh, bagus. And if I want to give like a, um, you know, say something to Alta, I can go say here, Alta, like that. Alta. So I can say, nice job with Shaf. Macam tu, right? And then she'll know that I am looking and I say, yeah, well done. Good job. You're doing it great. Tapi kalau you rasa, oh, yeah, jawapan ni macam kurang sikit lah, then you can put a comment here. Mungkin you nak jawab macam 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 ni. Right? So you can do live coaching. Atau dia tengah menjawab live dengan someone, you can be there and watching and then give them the answers. Pun boleh juga. Is that good or good? Very powerful, this one. Right? So, if you guys love to do coaching and you want fast your 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 team to be to to be trained fast this is the one of the best ways and then bila jawapan tu dah betul copy this one and you can create shortcuts so shortcuts can just put here so you do a slash punya command semua shortcut akan keluar so you can just find the correct shortcut so you you boleh type sini uh, ceo so the ceo shortcut akan keluar Right. Kalau you nak buat search, boleh juga. Go to snippets here. Click on snippets. And then akan buka. Same. All your shortcut snippets. And then you can do a search again. Shortcuts become so easy because once you create one, your whole team boleh guna. Okay. And so this is tengah cakap dengan WhatsApp. Kan? So dia hantar WhatsApp. Hantar WhatsApp balik. But you can also hantar email. So, you nak hantar email, tekan email, then you will send an email. There'll be email here and then the reply email pun nampak kat sini juga. You can do WhatsApp. Of course, kat sini kita ada dua WhatsApp line. So, you don't have to add one line saja. Kalau you nak dua company line pun boleh. Kalau you nak buat SMS pun boleh. Kalau you nak Messenger pun boleh. So, Instagram pun boleh. Semua boleh kat sini. All the channels. All in one place. No confusion. Okay. So, that's how we use Inbox Zero. Inbox Zero is close. Um, snooze ataupun assign so your inbox become zero shortcuts is like I showed just now shortcuts very simple and monitor macam ni lah you have your um, you have your access you boleh tengok semua orang punya conversations dengan all your clients one central dashboard untuk tengok your entire company punya online communication power ke tak power very power Right, so this is what I do every day. I go in and just tengok. And whenever Derek or Silma or the team needs support, baru I masuk tolong. Most of the time, they just ask from each other je. Silma ask from Derek, Derek ask from Alta, each other, each other, apa, each other aja tolong tolong uh, as a team. And I get to, you know, do all the other more, you know, uh, remeh-temeh -me things like the accounting lah, the hiring lah, benda-benda macam tu. Right? All right. Cool. So let's let's just stop there before we move on. Uh, Ishak ke, Heng ke, anything here that you want to see sebelum I move and and wrap up today? Apa tak? Uh, nak, nak tanya lah. Itu Clear. assign ni kan? Mm. Yang uh, yes. CEO saja boleh assign ke? Saya ada boleh setting siapa yang saja boleh assign? Kalau itu staff sendiri boleh SI untuk sendiri. Eh, ini saya boleh buat. Saya pergi SI untuk sendiri. Boleh juga. Sendiri nak SI untuk sendiri pun boleh. 
uh, orang lain nak assign untuk orang lain pun boleh. So assignment punya feature ni is open. Semua pun boleh assign. Hmm. Uh, whenever you assign, apa akan terjadi is, let me show you. Uh, whenever you assign something, dia akan ada a tag. Dia akan ada a nota that is going to be there forever. You will know siapa yang assign to you. Macam ni, eh, I show you. Eh. See, assign to you. Ah, you can tulis itu. So let me uh, find one that was assigned to me by somebody else. Okay, I buka ini. You can nampak situ. Silma assign this contact to you. I can tulis. So here assign to you. Pukul berapa automation, blah, blah, blah. Dia akan ada nota-nota, the small notes on what's happening. So this one is automation. Silma, can you do one assign to me? And I want to see that thing. Uh, Silma assign to me. And assign one, okay. okay? Assign to you. Let's assign Azwani. <laughs> I assign to you. Okay, done. Ah, so live macam tu kan? So Azwani or oh, Rich Works from uh, Dr. Zizan. All right. So you can nampak sini eh. Silma Jepin assign this person to you. Ada, nam, ada time lagi. 11.25. Jadi, there's no confusion bila orang assign to you, you akan dapat notification kat sini lah, nampak sini. So, you boleh nampak Alta has mentioned you, Derek has mentioned you. Bila somebody tag you, akan ada kat sini. And also, akan ada dekat email juga. So, you're going to get an email also saying things. Right? So, let me just open that. Refresh that. So, banyak notification. Alta has mentioned you in a comment. Jadi, in the email, kalau you're not in your dashboard, when you tekan your view comment ni, dia akan terus masuk into that Conversation right away. Jadi, tak payah nak fikir kat mana ni. Right? Tekan je. Pop. Akan terus masuk. So, that's why this is very powerful. Even though you are uh, tengah keluar, tengah buat benda lain, check the email you. Okay tak? Kalau ada je, pop. Tekan. Then you can tolong. Right away. Right, so, let it load. Dia lambat sikit. So, yes. To answer your question, Heng. Anyone can assign to anyone. And then, bila ada assign je, dia akan ada nota siapa assign to you, pukul berapa. Okay? Alright, anything else? Yasir Ishak sebelum we finish up this session. Ada soalan? Uh, yang assign tu boleh buat auto ke? ke boleh. boleh. Yes. Oh, okay. Kita <laughs> boleh assign guna rules Yasir. Oh. Contohnya, you boleh letak kat sini. Kalau dia ada email assign to someone. Kalau dia click on Chinese assign to Derek. Kalau dia um, apa-apalah. It is the rule banyak gila. right? So let me just show you where that goes. There goes to dekat workflow. Kita ada workflow where you can create your own chatbot automation. But a simple workflow will look like, so let's do a, a demo. Workflow, create. So kalau nak assign, so trigger, contohnya trigger dia. Eh. Trigger is kalau a conversation is open. Ah, the easiest one. Conversation open aja. Then the trigger you boleh buat condition. Select category. Maybe the source ke, the operator is, okay, equals to, and then I can add a condition. Right? So, uh, if the user, okay, and then we can add lagi. So, banyak lah user ke, workflow ke, contact ke. So, let's say if the contact is, right, so source, is equals to contact and uh, banyak lah all these all these things right so basically once you've done the um, the filtering then dekat bawah ni you click je add and then banyak steps you boleh buat you can ada chatbot send a message chatbot ask a question or you can ask the chatbot to assign to someone uh, assign to so bila tekan kat sini assign to who uh, you can assign to a specific user atau Assign to a user in a team. You boleh buat team. Customer service team tu bukan ada lima orang. Who to assign? Ah, assign to a user in the workspace. Or you can unassign. So you can do this workflow on and on and on. And filter it just exactly how you like. Okay, say. Okay, okay. Um. Alright. So yes, last call. Anything else about the platform yang you nak tengok before we close up the session and the webinar? Alright. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Kalau nak lagi more info, you can ask Silma later on. Silma can do a one-on-one -on -one demo with you, specifically how you can use in your team. 
Um, but for today, let's close up this session, okay? So those were the things yang I was mentioning on how to, um, how or those three main things and why a lot of businesses slow, right? Wrong tools. Number two is motivation. They're not urgent. So we showed you how to make it more urgent. And number three, team collaboration is poor. And we thought, show you how to also do it so that your team collaboration, it can be fast. Okay. So let this um, thing load sekejap. Lagging lah pula my Mac ni. Ah, okay. Uh, this is just a photo of all the software. So yes, one of the things is ramai clients come to us. Cikak Kalis, tak tahu nak pilih yang satu lah. Software yang bagus untuk kita. Patutlah susah nak pilih sebab ada beribu-ribu software out there. How are you supposed to know which one is for you, right? So we've already filtered it and we filtered it some more based on which one is best for your um, company. And in our program, we will teach you how to go through this. Kita ada worksheet, kita ada semua coaching. Nah? But basically, there are four categories you want to know for you, which one is the best software. And if you are streamlining or you are now uh, growing, yes, hello is... Um, specifically made for you guys, okay? Okay, so these are some other things that we teach about um, that. All right, let's do this. So what strikes you before we close this session? Um, let's hear from one or two of you. What strikes you so far? Anyone will be fine. Just wanna hear if anything is landing. What do you like the best so far? Anyone is fine too. Tarani is okay. Don't be shy. Isha, go ahead. Uh, mudahkan kerja lah banyak. Automation boleh. Boleh apa ni. Sebab saya dalam industri marketing kan buat iklan. Ah. Uh. So bila tengok ni macam kita tak perlu nak. Kalau ramai staff tak perlu buat iklan ke banyak nombor lah. Satu nombor je bro. Ah, uh, Satu je. Betul. So tengok macam. Uh, sebenarnya ram, saya dalam community internet ni. Uh, Ramai juga yang business owner yang kecil-kecil lah yang ada tiga staff, lima staff kan. So, dia orang ni struggle buat iklan untuk kalau ada lima orang buat lima iklan. Lima hmm. nombor kan, lima page berbeza. Ya ke? Derek, ah, Derek buat iklan kita orang. Jadi, I think Derek, maybe you can do a course ke? Kita orang, we do a quick webinar how to do one iklan untuk ramai-ramai orang. Ah, ya, yeah, interesting Syak. Thank you for sharing that. Alright ni. Thank you. Alright, cool. Rasa macam nak promote dekat kawan-kawan ni. Eh? Boleh. Itu oh. lagi. Aku suka SA. <laughs> Alamak. Best saya dengar macam tu. Yes. Nanti we talk more. Nah, tu lah. <laughs> Hang, yes. You want to share something? Uh, nak tanya. Yang tu. Uh, F2 kan. Dia boleh broadcast tak? Macam broadcast. Boleh. Kita ada broadcasting feature. You boleh you boleh schedule nak broadcast WhatsApp bila. You boleh broadcast SMS. You boleh broadcast email. You boleh broadcast semua channel lah. Apa channel yang connect semua boleh broadcast. Mm. And then kita ada so, cara nak broadcast uh, guna official WhatsApp API yang yang ada template tu. Ataupun you boleh guna uh, yang unofficial punya free broadcast WhatsApp. Tapi ada limit lah in a day. So tak payah nak bayar banyak-banyak. Pun boleh juga. So broadcasting WhatsApp ni is another big of one of our uh, strengths. Yeah? Tapi it's not our main one. Tapi sekarang bila dah broadcast, orang jawab terus masuk dekat sini. Tak payah nak menjawab tempat lain. Itu yang bagus. Kan? So yes, boleh broadcast. Okay. Alright. So thank you for that. Apa-apa lagi yang you guys nak tanya atau tak? If not, I just want to prescribe to you atau recommend five steps untuk to get started. Okay? Nombor satu, is you want to make sure you pick the right channels. Tak semestinya you ada semua channel. Ada 11, 12 channel. Jangan masuk semua, pening. Pick WhatsApp, pick email, pick a few more, dua, tiga je. And then be the best at that. And then slow-slow naik. Eh? Which we also show you how to do that. Play a daily game. Track every day. Win in box zero. Best. Hari-hari jadi macam best. Macam win. Okay. Number three, Create a strategy your entire team can play. So this is our collaborative WhatsApp punya framework. Uh, it shows you who yang menyam, who sambut the first, who is going to delegate, how to delegate dan sebagainya. So for this, Silma, can you share our worksheet on this? Collaborative WhatsApp framework worksheet? Yep, can. And also our inbox zero. You know what? 
we each one of these kitoran the training done worksheet uh silma is going to give you the link so for you guys on linkedin and you guys hang dengan isha kat apa yashi kat sini you guys can go and watch it on your own time so uh three worksheets and training quick short one 15 minutes and then you can implement terus okay and number four, you want to create a process for your team to uh, delegate right um so they can follow the w 5w1h approach to delegate and celebrate daily wins this is our daily huddle right so these five steps usually will transform your team very very fast even without doing all the other software things right okay so um for some of you who are watching if you guys are in our accelerator you guys are going to have a session pukul 12 15 12:15 later you can join me on facebook live uh, our normal wednesday tutorial you can join me yeah say i hang if you guys want to join also can there's, there's going to be stream live on facebook for our members but please join today we're going to talk about uh team collaboration Yes, we're going to go detail into team collaboration. So that is going to be later, all right? Uh yes. Okay, cool. So, I'll, I'm going to end it here. Uh yeah, say hang, I did prepare a few like one special thing untuk you guys. Uh is it okay kalau I spend like maybe extra 5 10 minutes go through what I prepared for you guys? Boleh tak? Ah uh, boleh, boleh. Boleh? Okay. All right, cool. This quick one. Um so this is only for those who want to implement today lah want to implement now right so can you do this of course you can do this even without you know uh, help you can do it on your own with our resources so if you want to implement faster um we have the customer service accelerator program so most of the time last time it takes a long time for new team members to get used to a new process get used to software so when we enroll people into our accelerator program you get the tools education resources support to build your five star customer service team in 30 days and you don't have to do the training we do the training you hantar je orang and you'll have access to this forever so whenever have you have new team members send them in and then they'll go to the course just same like all your other team members in the past and then they will get started fast right so that's the idea of it so that you can build a customer service team that's faster super fast so what are you going to get so if for our accelerator you will have access to our online course the predictable customer service course it will go through with you just the remember 8020 tu that 20% that your team needs to do to create that 80% result that will get your team to get started and then after that you can add all the other things right so um who is this for is for sme business owners entrepreneurs coaches if you're head of department um or your customer service leader right freelancers network marketers and mlms ngos and government organizations so anyone who wants to grow and scale any business fast because you need to have a streamlined customer service then only you can grow otherwise you get stuck Okay. So all our clients have gone through one way or another that accelerator and all of them have been successful very very fast and most of them have stayed since the beginning until today. Right? So what are we going to cover? We're going to cover simple. Remember that triangle model? That nine things? That nine things. We're going to install that triangle model inside your company. So we're going to talk about how to connect all your social media and choose the correct one for now. how to respond from one place a standard system customer service core values so that your team can manage their self on their own secrets to motivate your team like i mentioned just now those three things getting to inbox zero monitoring and reporting with templates with uh with scheduling with step by step shortcuts and snippets i showed you just now creating your knowledge base we we'll show you what software to use and how to do it a scheduling when to update it and what is collaborative whatsapp you know these techniques to do it modern okay so so what you're going to get in the customer service accelerator program is of course that customer service and i'm going to uh, add a few things so there are a few things so there's this whole package that will make it easy for your team so number one is the customer service online course next is we realize what uh, a lot of our clients need is they need a place to go to get unstuck sebab benda ni baru baru to them 
and then they were like, eh, macam mana nak buat tu lah? I lupa lah. Ah, so, every week, on Wednesday pagi, for one hour to one hour and a half, we have uh, live coaching. Okay, so me, Silma, and uh, sometimes Alta. So, we have a group. So, if your team, let's say from uh, Yasef's team, ada lima orang ke, sepuluh orang ke, you nak datang. So, your team. And then, uh, T-Live pun ada team dia orang. And then, Volvo pun ada team dia orang. So, whoever is in the accelerator at that time, going through the same journey, will come in and then we will help solve your challenge. Get unstuck. So that you get back on track to implement the triangle model. Okay. Um, so there are some some days yang ada three or four companies. Some days there's only one company. So it depends. So this is four times group coaching valued at 6,000 ringgit. So total uh, around 9,000 ringgit with the coaching and the course. Number three. So another challenge yang we realize is bila our accelerator punya participants graduate the 30 days, they realize, hey, we are already, you know, got everything, everybody, everybody that's smart, we can do teamwork. But our messaging is not tepat, right? Um, our automation is belum buat lagi. So we have a one-on-one -on -one to plan out a blueprint what to do next. So even though you want to do it on your own, because it's best if you do it on your own, we will lay out the blueprint, sit down with you guys so that you can implement. And that is worth 1,500 ringgit, your team and my team. So total value, 10,500. We're going to give you three bonus. Okay, three bonus so that you don't have to think about anything. Bonus number one, one year straight pro plan subscription value, 5,400 ringgit. So pro plan is for... 150 per month. Terus dapat free. Kita tak payah nak fikir pasal what platform to use. Just use our platform trade. Okay. And that one's value 5,004. So total 15,000. Bonus number two, we know you also need to connect your WhatsApp business API. Very technical. So don't worry about this. Our team will help you connect it to apply for it and then give it free some more 12 months API tak payah bayar. Right? Already in the package. So technical stuff also sorted. So that means you can get in, terus get into action. Next, so total is 17,000. Final um, bonus is chatbot course, advanced chatbot course, me and Derek, Derek last but specifically, who has created an online course for Kalau You Not Create Chatbot. Because our platform, you can already build chatbot. Already inside, you don't need to go and buy any others. And it's very powerful, we use it. And once you create a chatbot, it's in every channel. You build once, terus deploy dekat WhatsApp, Messenger, SMS, wherever you want, right? Except for email. So this course will help you get started already with that. Okay. So total value is 18,900 ringgit. Of course, we're not going to charge that lah, kan? This is the value that you're going to get. And this is what, this is why uh, this is so successful because we give so much upfront. We want you to be successful. Um, but if it was 18,000, right, would it be worth it if you can monitor your team? Huh? Hang, if you can only monitor, is it worth it, right? Streamline customer service process, pre-sales, that's streamline. So that means standard, you are the playbook. Your team never miss responding to customer service inquiries again. Tak lupa. You can easily train new customers about the other training. And what if you can retain 10% of customers that was going to leave anyway, right? How much money would you make? Would it be worth it, right? So you can see why 18,893 is actually a good deal. But for you guys who are here, you can just get started for 3997. Very, very good price. Um, why we make it at that price? Because I don't know why. I think uh, it's worth for you guys. It's worth for us. Um, but for you who are here, who wants to get started today, kita ada lagi extra bonus. So this is for those who want to take advantage. Not for everyone, but who wants to, um, who are action takers. I suka orang action taker ni. Special bonus just for today and those who are watching on LinkedIn, only 1999. So that means you're getting like, a, I don't know, like a 90, 95% off, right? But this is only for today. If you guys want to purchase it today, um, but don't worry, you still have access to the 3997 anytime, huh? anytime.
But for those who attend today, 199, speak to Silma. Silma will set it up for you on how you can enjoy this. Plus, you can also get a 30 days money back guarantee. This is how confident we are with our accelerator. We guarantee that your team, kita can install that triangle model, be successful within 30 days. If not, ask for money back. No questions asked. Full refund, right? So far, no refund because we really want you to get successful. We know this works because we've do, done it for ourselves, okay? I've uh, got a few questions um, I want to ask. Uh, I mean, a uh, 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 few more questions before we end it, okay? So if the 30 days customer service accelerator ni, buat segalanya yang kita janjikan, right? How much revenue, berapa banyak extra duit will you make profit bulan depan? Right, so kalau contohnya lah, you ada 200 people, 200 orang nak beli and then you convert 10% je, that 20 sales je, berapa you buat, right? So how much is that worth to you, 20 sales? So itu just satu bulan je. Dia, dia, bila you dah level up, your team become bagus, it's going to be like that for every month, right? So what if your team consistently jadi lebih bagus setiap bulan, right? So what if this training, what if training, what if new team members you boleh train lagi cepat? Right? How much is that worth? So, final question. If you made satu tahun the income and revenue tu, kalau you ada lah the, the funds ni, is it worth paying 18,893? For me, probably it would. Because you probably make this back within a month. Satu bulan, you probably make back 18,000. Okay? But we're not doing it at 18,000. Only 1,999. Super affordable. This is so that everyone can enjoy it and be excellent. And once you, here's a secret, because I know once you are successful here, you will come back to us and stay with us. And you will ask Khalif how to do chatbot. Khalif, how to get more team members. Khalif, how to integrate. Ah, banyak lagi kita boleh buat later on in the future. First is to be successful in customer service. Okay? So you can speak to Silma or comment yes if you're in LinkedIn. And then we'll give you the info. All right? So when does the next course start? As soon as you register, right away you get access. Terus kita akan connect your platform within a few minutes, maybe an hour or so, you can already jawab all your clients via messages. All right. That's it for, uh, we're going to do a closing today. Congratulations. You stay until the end. Um, Silma will share with you a link so that you can download our 27 proven scripts. Uh, if you are on LinkedIn, think of live, um, just comment scripts and then we will uh, DM you the, the link to download. You will really find this very useful. Right? Okay. Um, that's it for today. I've got a few uh, questions that uh, Q&A yang boleh jawab if you guys want to stay for the Accelerator Q&A. But for those who are watching on LinkedIn, that is the end of the uh, webinar. Right. If you want to stay, I'm just going to share, uh, answer some Q and A's. Whoever wants to ask any questions, uh, and that's it. So for you guys who are here, thank you so much for joining, and who are interested in the accelerator, let's uh, get into the Q and A's. Okay. Question one: uh, I don't know how to set up WhatsApp Business API or online platforms. Yep. Don't worry about that. We know you don't know, so that's why we will help you set it up. Um, all the technical things will be super easy. Derek is the head of it and then he will, uh, if you don't know how, he's got tutorials, he's got recordings, he's got knowledge base, he's got shortcuts, he's got every course, banyak benda. And if all that still tak boleh, Derek himself will come and help. Right, Derek? Very awesome. Dulu I am what? Derek dah masuk, Derek tolong buat. Ah, Alhamdulillah, betul. Thank you, Derek. Next, can I use my existing WhatsApp number or do I need to get new one? Yeah. Kalau you ada dah WhatsApp yang very busy orang your, your clients semua dah tahu, guna je. Right? Later on in the future, kalau you say, eh, I want to uh, change lah. Can. Flexible. We can change anytime. Kalau kata Khalif, alah, I ada WhatsApp ni. I nak yang baru. I nak dua. Boleh tak? Boleh. No problem. You want to buy new one? You want to add new one? You want three, four? Doesn't matter. Right? Very flexible. You can add as many as you want. But the idea is that to make it easy for you to start, flexible. Whatever you have, just use that. Next question, how does the group coaching look like? Ah, group coaching is going to be me and a team member, either Silma or Alta or Derek. And it's going to be a Zoom. Um, for the accelerator, every Wednesday, 10.30 to 11.30 to 12.00. Right? Like I said just now, Zoom, 
um, you and your team come, yeah, another other team come. So very many many few teams, and then we will do a, a coaching. I coach you guys, and you guys coach each other, because same journey, same problems. So same, you guys can share solutions, right? It's very powerful. So it looks like, and then at the end of the day, we will record the session and then put it so you can watch it if you miss that coaching day. All right, next. What if I'm already a paid subscriber? Well, if you are already one of our Yes Hello subscribers, then you might already have access to our accelerator. Or if not, then it's just maybe a tiny top up. Speak to uh, Silma or Derek and they will help you out. Next question. Do I get seven days free trial plus 30 days money back guarantee? Yes, you are the 30 days money back guarantee. No questions asked. Full refund. No problem about that. Yang seven days free trial ni is for those yang pergi our website and want to just register untuk platform uh, software je. Right? Then we give a seven days free trial. But um, it's not relevant so much for the accelerator. So no need to worry. Right? So that's it, guys. Uh, next session is at 12.15. I'm going to do a um, apa, FB live tutorial for our accelerator punya clients. You guys can join if you want to join on our Facebook page. If not, that's it, right? I opened up for Yase and Heng if you guys want to ask final questions before we close the session. Apa soalan? Tak ada soalan. Tak ada soalan, eh? Is it? All right, cantik. So, if Yase, kalau you nak, I think Silma can contact you. Uh, you look like you you might want to have a free trial or something, kan? Perfect. Silma. Uh, Heng, are you okay? You ada apa soalan? Mm, tak ada, okay. Ada, eh? uh, right. Silma call me lah. Boleh. <laughs> Silma lepas ni terus, we will set up a session dengan you all, you guys. So and... that you guys can start right away. Okay? Zero risk. Thank you so much, Heng. Thank you so much, Yase. Yeah, Silma, Derek, Tarani, you guys are awesome as usual. Thanks so much for being here. And those on LinkedIn, um, appreciate you guys watching live. Um, I know some of you guys are my friends. Support, brother. I love it. And um, please comment something. I really appreciate that uh, to hear from you guys. Same time, same place. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great Thursday, guys. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Yasir. I will contact later. And thanks. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Yasir.